Hello everyone. Welcome to Manage Firewall with Puppet. My name is Krishna. In this webinar, I will be talking about how to manage firewall with Puppet. Uh, at the end of the webinar, we will be having a question and answer session. If you want to follow up, use the link below at the bottom of the slide. I'm moving to the next slide. About myself, my name is Krishna Prajapati. I am working as a MySQL engineer at Olin Data and uh, exploring other technologies too. We provide open source training and consulting in the technologies like Puppet, Node.js, Linux, MySQL, and the complete lab stack. Going over to the next slide. Everybody feel free to put up your question into the chat section or you can raise your hands. The options is available to you. Oh, the next slide is overview. I will give a short description about Puppet. You should have a basic Puppet knowledge in order to understand the webinar. In the next slide, I have added few links which will guide you to set up Puppet. In the overview section, uh, these are the topics which I will be covering. What is Puppet? What is Firewall? How to select the Firewall module? The appropriate module for you? Its syntax and the rules how it should be applied. And uh, at the end of the session will be a question answer session. So going ahead, I'm moving to next slide. What is Puppet and why do we care about it? Puppet is a configuration management software based on Ruby. It is designed to help system administrator to automate many repetitive tasks they perform regularly. It defines and enforces the state of your infrastructure throughout the software development's life cycle. It ensures consistency across your infrastructure. It scales very well from one server to 200 k servers. CERN is the company, it's a nuclear facility that have used this much servers. The average Puppet Enterprise installation seen from 300 servers to 600 servers. It supports multi-platform environment, Windows, Linux, Flavor, Mac, BSD, Solaris. With the strength of multi-platform, it is widely used and adapted. Puppet is open source product and also available as commercial offering from Puppet Labs as Puppet Enterprise. In the Puppet Master, the whole infrastructure code is uh, there so that it can be managed. Uh, therefore, it is also called as infrastructure as a code. I am moving to the next slide. Slide number five. What is firewall? A firewall is a system designed to prevent unauthorized access to or from a private network. It frequently used to prevent unauthorized internet user from accessing private network connected to the internet, especially intranets. It makes our whole Our whole infra secure from outside world. So going ahead, a firewall is a network security system that controls the incoming and outgoing network traffic based on an applied rule search. 
a firewall establishes a barrier between a trusted secure internal network and another network. This is assumed not to be secured and trusted. Firewall exists both as a software to run on a general purpose hardware and as a hardware appliances. Many hardware based firewall also offer other functionalities to the internal network they protect such as acting as DHCP server for that network. Many personal computer operating system include software based firewall to protect against the threat from the public interest into public internet. Many routers that pass data between network contains firewall component and conversely many firewalls can perform basic routing functions. Uh, everybody feel free to put up their questions into the chat sections. I am moving to the next slide. Here we will be talking about uh, puppet modules for uh, firewall. So uh, the website for.puppetlabs.com is a repository where both Puppet Labs as well as the community modules are available. So you can browse it to this link and uh, you can find out all the firewalls available both from Puppet Labs as well as from the community. Uh, let me show it to you. So uh, this is the site fog.puppetlabs.com. So let me search the firewall over here. So, uh, so you can see that after searching a list, a big list, you can see over here. So, uh, I'm moving to my next slide. Install firewall module. Okay, here, here are the list of firewalls available. The first uh, module, Puppet Labs forward slash firewall is available from Puppet Labs and the remaining modules are available from other community vendors. So the recommended firewall module you should use is uh, Puppet Labs so because it is fully tested by Puppet for all the versions, so there is no bug and uh, it works perfectly on all the specified operating systems. This is the reason why you should use this. Uh, let me show you some more details in this. Also, here you can see clearly the version of this Puppet Labs firewall is uh, 1.5. And here it shows that how frequently it is being updated, March 31st, 2015. So it was updated and this is the number of downloads. So uh, this is the most recommended uh, firewall module you should use. Going ahead. Uh, so this is the Puppet Labs firewall module. So uh, I'm just uh, browsing to the bottom. So uh, here you can see Puppet module install Puppet Labs firewall. This module, uh, this is the command which you can utilize it for installing this Puppet Labs firewall. Uh, the same thing I have shown in my slides too. See, uh, Puppet module search firewall so it is going to search all the firewalls with the keyword firewall or 
So this is the site fork.api.puppetlabs.com uh, and here you can see the first one is the author is Puppet Labs. So and uh, this is the same command what I have shown you just a minute back. Puppet model install Puppet Labs firewall. When you install this module, Puppet uh, Labs firewall, so uh, you can see a list of comments over here. Notice it is preparing, it is installing into the default location. And uh, in the second notice, it is showing that it is downloading from fog.api.puppetlabs.com. And uh, after the in installation, it is showing the complete path where it has been installed, the path where it has been installed. So Puppet Labs hyphen firewall version 1.5.0. So this Puppet Labs firewall has been installed. Let you let me show you some more related things about the firewall. See, this is the command for installing the modules. This contains a readme file. So here is the table of contents. And it has given all the things for how it should be used. What are the commands? What are the syntax? Everything you can find it over here. The few more important things uh, which you should check is uh, you should just uh, uh, also verify the compatibility. See, here it's uh, clearly mentioned which are the puppet versions it's compatible and uh, what are the operating system it supports. So uh, from seeing over here, we can understand that it supports almost all the Linux operating systems. Apart from compatibility, this is the parameters. So <clears throat> you can take a look if you have any doubt about the parameters, what are the related parameters about the firewall. So this will give you a proper idea about the port, D port. This is one of the very important parameter. So here you can take a look into this one too. So going ahead to my next slide. So here I have uh, just uh, executed the IP tables help commands to show little of the help features available. So you can directly uh, use these features also for better understanding. And uh, it is available for uh, all the Linux operating systems. So uh, for example, here hyphen A can be used for append hyphen C can be used for chain. So, so there is a big list which you can browse with this above command, IP tables hyphen hyphen help. I'm moving to my next slides. So uh, continuing with the help feature, these are the some more help options available to you and the parameters are also shown over here. So uh, after installing the firewall module, so uh, this is the default syntax for a firewall. It is very straightforward. So uh, you can create a profile known as firewall and uh, in that firewall you can use include firewall feature or you can directly use the firewall class to create the rules over there. 
the first uh, option include firewall is used in a scenario when you are going to use uh, Hira along with the puppet so uh, there is a separate files where you can uh, mention all the key value pairs Hira is nothing but a flat file database with a key value pair so all the changeable contents must be uh, set up using Hira so uh, you don't have to touch the code every time the other option is you can directly use the firewall class to specify the IP rules I'm uh, moving to my next slide Uh, everybody is requested if they have any questions or anything just please put it up over here uh, I have uh, uh, questions let me read it we are using software firewall or hardware firewall to handle security in puppet environment this question was put up by Zubir Hussain uh, Zubir, uh, it's up to you what you want to use with the uh, Puppet. Uh, Puppet uh, works both with uh, uh, your infra can works both with software firewall or hardware firewall. Uh, the decision is yours. It's up to you. Zubir, let me give the access to you. Hey Zubir, can you hear me? Zubir? Okay, I'm continuing my uh, presentations. If there is any question put it up over here so uh, from the previous slide here I have uh, shown how what will be the uh, syntax for firewall so this is the profile feature I, uh, I'm using so this will be the syntax so uh, containing with that firewall uh, this commands resource resource class that is firewall purge is equal to true so what exactly this is going to do is before implementing the IP rules by puppet if there are any any manage any uh, rules managed by the operating system so that will be purged so uh, it will purge anything which is not managed by puppet so uh, this is a uh, very important and should be used so that uh, it doesn't give uh, issues to you otherwise uh, it can uh, uh, mismatch and it can give uh, some errors to you so we should do we should do just to clear up the all the IP rules which is not managed by puppet so by we can just ignore by using this commands this simply resource firewall purge is equal to true and it is going to clean up the firewalls which is not managed by puppet going to the next slide so uh, so these are the firewall rules sample so from the first one firewall uh, this is a firewall class which I have been used so here in the comments it's a 001 accept all ICMP request it means that uh, uh, ICMP is the internet control message protocol so uh, and uh, ping is ping, ping uh, comes within this ICMP so here with this firewall request we are allowing the server to be pinged from other servers 
and uh, this is uh, very important so that you can understand that the server is alive and uh, it is reachable I'm going to the next firewall rule the next firewall rule is a uh, uh, loopback access so uh, this is uh, basically important for the servers to work work properly because sometimes a loopback adapter is required for the some of the applications so this will uh, create a firewall rule for a loopback adapter uh, just pay attention that here in the first one i have used 001 and the loopback adapter 002 so what uh, 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 by this we means that it is the sequence uh, the way how the firewall rules will be implemented so this is a very important so it should be implemented in a sequence uh, basically whenever we are going to implement firewall rules initially we should uh, create uh, the, uh, the default like SSH ICMP and the input allow related and established firewall rule and after doing or applying all the firewall rules at the end you should block all the remaining ports so that how uh, you can make your uh, network secured so the third one is going to 000 input allow related and established so this will create uh, another firewall rule so I'm moving to my next slide see uh, see just uh, in the previous slide I talked about uh, uh, the importance of this numeric number see uh, while implementing the firewall rule a the comment part is this zero zero input allow and related and establish so uh, so this was uh, the third firewall has been implemented first so this one was implemented first you can see from the list here see and after that the ICMP rule was created the next one was the loopback adapter and this uh, fourth firewall rule is going to allow SSH connectivity to the servers so here is the fourth firewall input TCP multiport uh, 20, uh, port 22 is the SSH port so these are the four rules I'm moving to my next slide See, uh, this is the last firewall rule. Apart from the above four, you should block all the ports so that uh, ne uh, your network can be secured and uh, no port is open for connectivity. So depending on your requirement, you can open the ports what you want. So going ahead, uh, so these are the one, two, three, four, three rules over here, the fourth SSH rules over here. This is how it will look into the IP tables. You can just uh, list using the, using the command IP tables hyphen L. It will show all the IP, IP tables rules created. And uh, the last one is very important. You should, uh, in order to secure, you should apply this firewall rule. Going ahead, here I have uh, created a uh, Apache uh, firewall rule for Apache. Uh, the port is uh, 84 Apache, and for HTTPS, it's 443. Even you can use that too over here into the I'm moving to my next slides. 
See here I have uh, created a firewall rule for accessing MySQL database. Uh, the default port for uh, MySQL is 3306. So uh, 3306 will be allowed by the IP tables to access the server. Uh, even in some cases, uh, the, uh, the port for MySQL is different. Sometimes if it is a custom or depending on the requirement, if there is some different port, you can put that port over here, D port, and uh, that port will be allowed to access the database server. So this is all about, we are into the open source training and consulting. These are the upcoming trainings. If you are interested, just log into our website. Here you can find, uh, with this command, you can find all our uh, previous webinars. So you can just uh, visit our previous webinars. All are very informative and rich of resources. We are also having Europe and Asia based trainer. So uh, here with this, uh, I'm uh, at the end of this webinar. So uh, uh, if anybody is interested, put up your question over here into the chat sections or even you are free to raise your hands. Although I'm going to send this webinar slide as well as the recording of this webinar to all of you in, uh, in few days. Oh, there is a question. Let me go through it. Uh, Michelle Basilo. Hey, Michelle, can you hear me? Hello, Michelle. Uh, not responding is. Uh, there is a, another question from Balu Kamal Konda. Uh, his question is, uh, uh, can we install the firewall in a VM to manage my intranet network? Obviously, you can do that. Uh, nowadays, what is happening is uh, uh, most of the hostings are providing VMs. So you can have your, your VMs and you can get it done. It's possible. Balu. Hey Balu. Yeah. If you have any any more questions, uh, let me know. Yeah. Uh, apart from I mean uh, firewall uh, rule, uh, can we set up this as I mean? Uh, does it work in the way of a uh, router? Like uh, diverting the traffic and all, or and also like uh, something like uh, having a virtual uh, uh, network, like uh, this is uh, 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 VLANs or this uh, firewall. Uh, it works, but it will be a totally different topic over here. You you can just look into it. You can it works. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Walu. Uh, yep. Thanks. So, any more questions from any of you? Okay, guys. Thank you very much, all of you. Thanks once again.